Okay, today I'd like to go ahead and show you how to use Google Earth. If you watched my last video, I showed you how to download and install Google Earth onto your desktop. So let's go ahead and double click and open this baby up. And if you're brand new at Google Earth, you're probably going to get the startup tip window. And it gives you a lot of really cool tips on how to use different things. And this program is so massive and there's so much you could do with it. But this video, I'm just going to go through some of the basics with you just to kind of get you up and started with it. So if you don't want this window to pop up, just go ahead and uncheck right there. And then you can hit close. Or if you want to keep the window come up every time you do open it, just keep that checked and then hit close. Now some of the quick little features right here, you can actually type in your personal address if you wanted to and hit search and this thing will actually zoom right down into your house, street or neighborhood where you're at. Um, under places here, you see a little tab here, you can click places and my places and sightseeing tours or whatever. That's if this, These are basically things that I have personally downloaded into Google Earth. So you probably don't need to worry too much about this. But layers, on the other hand, is one you definitely want to check out. Um, let's go ahead and go down to where, you know, you can do borders and labels. And there's usually a little plus sign right next to it. And you can hit that plus sign. And it'll show, like, different borders and labels that you, you can check or uncheck just by clicking once. Under photos, I would definitely check the photos. And what that'll include is panorama and 360 degree pictures, which I'll show you how those work here. And these are actually really cool, so make sure that stays checked. You can have roads, 3D buildings, ocean, weather. This is kind of a neat little feature, so I can let me just open that one up. So if we click on the top, it's going to highlight everything. It's going to show the most current weather, and it looks like up in the northwest along the Canadian border is getting pounded with rain and the northern Great Lakes up into Canada is getting some rain and a little bit down through California so anyways and then uh, say you just only want specific things you can like uncheck the radar if you only want to see clouds you know which is kinda neat or uncheck the clouds if you only want to see the radar only or you just uncheck everything and then you do have gallery if you wanted to and you can open that up and it gallery just gives you a boatload of things you can check out uh, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked for right now but definitely go through every one of these and kinda play with it and see which one eventually that you do want to keep checked so let me uncheck there for now so this is some basics on the layers which you're gonna wanna play with right away now let's just go ahead and do a quick little tour somewhere so let's go check out how about Grand Canyon National Park? And there it is right there. Let me hit search. Now, depending on how quick your internet speed is, will depend on how smooth and fast this will zoom in. And it'll take you just to a spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mouse with the wheel, and I'm just going to scroll backwards with it towards me, which will bring the picture out. And then the other thing I could do is I can just left click on my mouse and hold down which will move the picture or the uh, map whichever direction I want to go. Now if you're on a basically a tablet or your iPhone when you do open up Google Earth it's going to show you some tips and tricks on how to move around. So another feature I want to do so let's go ahead and zoom in and I want to show you this. Now you're going to see little pictures and you're going to see pictures that are look like they're kind of more grouped up. So this is like multiple pictures. So let's just click on that real quick. And these are pictures that people have submitted into Google Earth. And you just go ahead and click and kind of check out the area, see what it looks like. And there's if they got a lot of pictures, this guy submitted 139 pictures, so he's got a whole bunch there. You can uh, go down into the river here if you wanted to check it out to see what somebody submitted these are some river shots of the Colorado River now here's a really cool feature if you see these little red tabs these are what uh, basically somebody that works for Google Earth 
went down and took a 360 shot. So you click once. And this is the bridge crossing when you're down at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. And I've actually hiked this, and holy crap, I thought I was going to die hiking back out of this canyon. Uh, if you ever do go down there, make sure you spend two days on this trip. Stay the night down there. So anyways, what you want to do is, it's going to give you an idea of kind of what it looks like. So what you want to do is hover over and click again, and it's going to just dive us right down in there. I use Google Earth so much when traveling to a new location I'll actually get on Google Earth and search out a bunch of places that I like to see and do my photography at. So now what I could do is I'm just kinda taking the hand and I'm left clicking on my mouse and I'm just dragging the mouse around to get an idea. And it looks like he was hanging out with a couple people, one person walking on each way, but you're able to do a cool 360 view of the Grand Canyon and what it looks like down below here. So out of 100% of all the people that visit this place, probably only 10% will actually ever make it to this point for hiking down to. So this is kind of a neat way if you, in your lifetime, if you never think you're gonna get down here, this is a neat way of touring the Grand Canyon or other places around the world. Now to get out of the photo, let's hit exit photo, which is up here. And I'm going to take my wheel and just kind of scroll back. And these, you can see there's some little pictures that people have submitted. So you could just kind of go along and click these if you wanted to. And it's X out of there just by hitting the X. Let's scroll back. Now I want to show you another really cool feature. So let's go up to the north rim here, or the south rim. Now you notice everything's flip-flopped. Because what happened when I was down there doing the 360 view was moving the compass. So let's go up here first. I want to do is get this compass back to the north. So one easy way of doing it, I'll just hover right over where north is at. And I'll left click and I'll drag it so it's back north. Now to me when I'm looking at maps, I always like the map, the top to be north. Now this here, you can click an arrow to move up. Or you can move this to get a more straight down view. And you can circle around this way to the left or circle to the right just by holding those. Now down here, you can click forward. You can move backwards or side to side. What I like to do is I'd rather just click and hold side by side here. So, Okay, I want to show you one more quick feature. So instead of the south rim, let's go cruise to the north rim here. And I want to see, I'm going to hover over, grab this guy right here, and I'm going to drag him over here. And what you want to do, if you drag the guy and you see this light up blue come up, that means Google Earth has actually driven with their, their vehicle and took pictures along the way. So let's go ahead and unclick and drop the guy in, and we're going to head on right on down to the street here. And it takes a second to load up. Even with, uh, I got pretty fast internet and this thing could be kind of slow. So now I could do is just drag the picture around, get a 360 view. And it's kind of showing trees here. And now if I want to move, I can, let me just zoom back around the other direction. So this yellow you see here is basically where the guy has driven. So I can actually just click on it once. And it'll actually move me down the road. So let's click it again. Looks like there's some kind of parking area coming up. Let's click one more time. And then I could take and scroll to the side. And this looks like some kind of picnic area somewhere on the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Which is a pretty cool feature. And once again, I'm just left clicking and dragging around. And you can actually drag up and you drag way down. Pretty cool technology. I mean, this is a great way to explore different places around the world, basically. Anywhere you want to go around the world, there's like some kind of maps you can just zoom right into. You can exit Street View. And then here's the thing that happens to me sometimes. Sometimes you might exit and you're like, wait a minute, I'm still kind of at ground level. 
So what you can do, and then it, all of a sudden it brings you back in, and you're like, what the heck? So let's hit Exit Street View one more time. What you want to do is come up here and scroll this down a little ways. And then you want to do is zoom out. And let's scroll down a little bit more. And we're going to zoom out. There we go. And what I really like this too is how it gives you a cool three-dimensional look of what the terrain looks like. And you can just zoom in and be like, oh, there's a couple of cool water tanks. Oh, here's the trail going down into the canyon from the north rim. And you can actually physically click on pictures along the way and checking out the view along the way too. So anyways, these are just some real basics on Google Earth. It does have a, a million options with it. You just got to play with it for a while. And you, you, it's a great way to uh, tour places around the world. And anywhere you can think of, you can pretty much zoom in and check it out. It's pretty amazing technology. So anyways, I hope this video did help you. And if it did, definitely hit that like button down below. And definitely subscribe. I'm always coming out with new videos. So anyways, you have yourself a great day.